Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Today, I'm gonna be doing a three-way versus battle to see which one of these is better. Is it gonna be the cartridge? Is it gonna be the pod? Or is it gonna be the disposable? We're also gonna be talking about the differences between all three, and I'm gonna be giving my own opinion on which do I think is better and what do I like more. Without further ado, what is up YouTube welcome back to another video real quick I do want to thank you guys for 96,000 subscribers and we're even so close to hitting that 97k goal mark which means we're literally only 3,000 away from the big 100,000 goal so if you're new here make yourself at home or if you've been following me for a while but still haven't hit that sub button right now is the time to get your ticket and say that you've been here since before a hundred thousand subs all right guys because after that things are just gonna keep getting bigger faster and it's just gonna be a wild ride right and I want every single one of you guys to be OG's and for you to be able to say that you've been following me since the jump so back to the video right here I have a 510 thread cartridge right here I have a plug-and-play pod and then right here I have a disposable cartridge okay I guess you could call this just an all-in-one disposable device not only a disposable cartridge but yeah out of the three we are gonna be talking about the up Sides, the downsides, what I like about every single one in here. I know there are people out there with a lot of questions, all right, guys? So nonetheless, let's just go ahead and top straight into this versus battle. I think I am going to start talking about the OG in the game, which is going to be the 510 thread cartridge. So when it comes down to 510 thread cartridges, most cartridges are made out of distillate. We do have other cartridges out there that are made from live resin, live rosin, a little bit of a mixture between distillate and live resin, but I feel like for like at least maybe 75% of the market right now, it's mostly filled with distillate cartridges. Now when copying a distillate cartridge or any 510 thread cartridge for that matter, another thing that I'm gonna be needing is gonna be a battery to go along with it. So it's not gonna be me just pulling up to the dispensary, being able to get a 510 thread cartridge and just be ready to rip. I am gonna have to spend a couple of extra bucks in order to get myself a nice battery to go along with a cart and that might be a deal breaker for some people is just having to buy a battery off the rip but if you really think about it after copying one battery as long as it's very high quality it's gonna last a very long time and you probably won't be having to pick up another battery for a long time before we continue you already know that we have to go in on a quick ripperino right here like I said I have the West Coast Cure Gas OG easily one of the gassiest cartridges that I've had so far this year Cheers everybody It's my first time getting baked today, so this thing is actually hitting pretty strong But yeah, let's go ahead and hop straight back into it So when it comes down to 510 thread cartridges It's only really been a couple of years since a very few select companies have gone and done the full switch to full-on ceramic cartridges which we all know is better overall for your health but for the most part, a lot of cartridges out there are still made from metal, which we all know after heating it up for a very long time, it can cause metal leakages, and then that goes into the oil. Next thing you know, you're vaping metal, which can obviously be harming your lungs, okay? But that is only with a few select cartridge companies nowadays. I feel like even most cart companies nowadays are at least having a ceramic coil in the center, so that should kind of do the job, but nonetheless, when it comes down to cartridges, I definitely feel feel like cartridges in themselves are going to be the cheapest ones out of the three just because of the fact that there's so much variety when it comes down to 510 thread carts. Now we're going to hop straight into the pod portion of this video and we're going to be talking about how does it compare to the other two that we have right here. So when it comes down to pods or at least most of them that I tried, it's definitely a, a slightly different experience but in my opinion it's worth it, right? I like the fact that a lot of these companies out here when it comes down to the pods such as plug play stizzy and maybe even other brands like select they all do a really really good job at making a high quality battery that burns the oil perfectly gives a nice pull and the overall experience is definitely nice 
Now, the negative about this is probably going to be if you go into a dispensary and you already have a battery like this, chances are you're not going to be wanting to spend the extra bucks to get another battery just so you could use that pod right there and you might lean a lot towards the 510 thread cards. But personally, I was the same way when I first started. I was like, do I really want to buy a proprietary battery just for this pod? And then what happens if I want to use a 510 thread cart? I can't even use this pod system right here and it sucks. After making the transition and getting my first ever Stizzy, my first ever plug play, it was, it was a pretty good experience. I felt like I only wanted to cheap on plug plays from there on end. I didn't really use 510 thread cartridges for a good couple of months before I was like, all right, dude, I've been cheaping way too many Stizzies, way too many plug plays. And then I went back to switching between 510 thread carts and pods. But yeah, the only negative side about this is probably gonna be the fact that yes, you do have to cop an extra battery. But in my opinion, when it comes down to a lot of the pod companies that are out right now, they do a very, very good job with their oil, with the production of the pod. If I'm not mistaken, most of the pods that are made nowadays are made from ceramic also. So that is a little bit healthier. And the only other downside that I can probably think of is just the fact that obviously you cannot use 510 thread carts or any other pod for that matter on these specific batteries. I'm not gonna be able to pop a stick in here I'm not gonna be able to pop a select click in here I could only use plug and plays all right guys so those are the really only downsides and upsides about this one before we move on to the disposable you already know we have to take a hit of every single one that we use today Whew. you could definitely tell the smoothness too. just a quick little side note between the quality and fire that plug play produces as opposed to West Coast cure which it's good, but it's not like, oh my gosh, dude, everything about it is not as good as people might say it is. This definitely is a harsher cart, and you could definitely taste the quality of the oil. It's a lot smoother on the plug play, okay? So moving straight on to the disposable version of this video. So in my opinion, when it comes down to disposables or even all-in-one devices, I definitely feel like this is the smartest choice, I guess you can say, when it comes down to it. Because with these devices, the biggest upside is that you do not not have to get any battery whatsoever right you don't have to spend the extra few bucks on getting a battery and even worrying about your battery dying everything comes in this one device right here the batteries in here the oil all you really have to do is just draw to hit and it's as simple as that and I definitely feel like in the past couple of months maybe the last year or so these have definitely been rising to the top just because of that fact too that you do not have to buy a battery whatsoever it's very very easy to just finish these and then just throw it in the trash but then again that does cause a lot of harm in society at least that's what everybody says and just throwing away these disposables after using them and they obviously have a lithium battery in here it could be very very harmful for the environment and I mean me personally I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm, I'm a fucking activist and stuff like that yes I do do my portion by like you know picking up trash not throwing shit in the streets and all that good other stuff but I'm not really gonna sit here and be like hmm I definitely should not cough that disposable because with that disposable right there it's literally gonna harm the entire environment that's not really the way that I'm thinking only thing that I'm thinking about is like holy shit yeah this is literally so easy to use it's all in one device and I don't have to buy a battery at all right so that's definitely the big upside when it comes down to the pricing I don't I mean there are some pretty affordable disposables out there but I can see how they would cost just a tad bit more than a regular pot or a regular cartridge just because of the fact that it's an all-in-one one device and you don't have to buy a battery whatsoever but I guess when it comes down to it you can actually still keep reusing the batteries but you cannot reuse a disposable all right so even though it comes in very very clutch having all in one device and not having to go and cop another battery I still feel like at the end of the day is it really worth it you know I feel like it's only worth it if that disposable company is coming out with some straight heat and you keep wanting to go back to it and then you never have to buy a battery again but in my opinion right now and how the market's looking I definitely feel like there are far better 510 thread carts and pods than there are disposables it's just that these have been rising up quickly because it's an all-in-one device and you don't have to buy a battery and it really just comes in clutch at the end of the day this one comes in the most clutch but in my opinion 510 thread carts and pods have the most variety all right and real quick I want to shout out
out a special sponsor that we've had for a long time, Exhale Wellness. You guys already know I've been using Exhale Wellness literally for months now. I use these right here in specific, which is gonna be their CBD gummies. And I literally just pop a couple of these bad boys before bed and it puts me out like a baby, bro. I literally don't wake up until the next day. And if I don't take these, I will indeed have a shittier sleep, all right? And aside from the gummies that they have right here, they also have other stuff such as like Delta 9, HHC, Delta 8, and they have like disposables. But maybe, like I said, my favorite thing is gonna be these right here, which is gonna be the C. CBD gummies and to be quite honest it's like the only CBD that actually works for me so once again a big shout out to today's sponsor of the video X hell wellness not to mention the fact that this doesn't have variable wattage whereas most batteries or at least 510 thread batteries have the capability of being able to change the wattage the pod systems I don't think I've ever even seen a pod system that has interchangeable variable wattage so that's definitely gonna you know deduct some points at the end of the day and choosing which which one do I like between the three right here? I definitely think that I'm gonna have to stick with the OG, bro. Nothing beats a good old 510 thread cartridge. Nothing beats having a, your own unique battery. And it's just, you know, this right here, you can switch the battery up whenever you want, different colors, different styles. And I just feel like this is the best overall, all right? So in my opinion, today, 510 thread cartridges is definitely gonna be disposable, and it's definitely gonna be pod systems, all right, guys? So with all that being said, I am out for today's video. If you enjoyed today's quick little versus battle don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here leave a comment down below and leave a fat like to help it with the algorithm i'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video